Sinovac's COVID-19 vaccine was once again put into question after several Indonesian doctors that were fully vaccinated with a China-made jab reportedly died. Let's discuss this development further over the phone with special advisor to the IATF, Dr. Ted Herbosa. Good afternoon again, Dr. Herbosa. What should we make of this development given that a bulk of our vaccine supply came from Sinovac or is Sinovac? Good afternoon, everyone. Well, now, all the findings are is that uh, Sinovac is still very effective, even against the Delta variant. And uh, real-world experience still shows that uh, we can continue to use Sinovac because it is safe and effective, and its benefits far outweigh the risks. What do we make of these 12 deaths? Do we know any further details about these specific cases? Uh, we don't yet. We will try to find out if indeed uh, or they are related to comorbidities or illnesses of these uh, uh, health workers in Indonesia. All right. So, um, having said this, I guess you're not in favor of altogether stopping the administration of Sinovac jabs on health workers, of course, given the shots lower efficacy rate. You did just say that these are still effective and the risks. Or the benefits outweigh the risks. If it is not due to the Delta variant, we still do not have any reported case of the Delta variant in the Philippines, uh, in the community of the Philippines. All right. Um, what about um, the vaccination pace so far? As we we know that vaccine supply is forthcoming until the start of the third quarter. We're expecting a lot of supply. Are you seeing uh, an improvement in any way with the pace of our vaccination? Yes, we vaccinated. Uh, we actually vaccinated uh, 10 million doses of, uh, uh, so far. So, and most of that. Uh, 10 million, the 5 million was actually delivered from the month of June. So we actually delivered the 5 million doses in three months, but we were able to deliver it in one month because of uh, uh, adequate supplies kept arriving in the month of uh, late May and uh, the whole month of June. All right. Oh, now. Now, Doc, I think a lot of people, of course, have, have been questioning the efficacy rate of uh, Sinovac. Uh, how should we convince people to still get vaccinated despite these developments regarding the Sinovac vaccine? Um, obviously, it's not enough to tell them that the benefits outweigh the risks because um, there's still hesitancy, very much so, in vaccine sites as well as nationwide. For your information, many of my colleagues who are physicians prefer Sinovac, which is the traditional way vaccines are made. It is actually safe. It is uh, use, using an inactivated virus. So what happens is uh, you get uh, th three to five antigenic uh, responses, which means you are probably even more protected than just an mRNA vaccine or the viral vector vaccine, which are the, the other newer types, which are truly actually uh, still at this time all experimental. So if you ask me, uh, the science, actually, even our own vaccine expert panel in the Philippines rank our inactivated vaccines very high and rank the uh, mRNA vaccine very low. But unfortunately, people listen to uh, media or uh, what is uh, written out, but not to, to the scientists. The scientists are the last one people like to listen to. So they end up with actually wrong perceptions of what is good and what is a bad vaccine. All right, another case, Dr. Bossa, that might lead to more hesitancy is, of course, that video that went viral, unfortunately, in Kati City of um, that kind of a failed uh, vaccine administration video. I'm sure you have seen it. How do we, you know, uh, encourage people that such an incident is isolated, even though Mayor Abi Binay already clarified what really happened and the person in the video was actually successfully vaccinated? Immediately when that video became viral, uh, Abi Binay and Mayor Abi Binay and Secretary Duque had the case investigated, and we found out it was really a volunteer in the vaccination site who probably was tired or erred, but this was definitely an isolated case, and uh, they were able to have uh, done the corrective measures. They recalled the patient, and the patient actually received the correct uh, vaccine dose. And even if the patient himself said not to even involve already the nurse that had actually uh, 
made an error in terms of vaccination. Well, medical errors do happen even in our hospitals. It's uh, uh, things that are we live with, but we try to minimize that by making sure these things do not happen again. So I think this viral video actually helps us in the vaccine operations to actually make sure that all those trained to deliver the vaccine will do it properly and correctly so that uh, errors like this will not happen again. All right, a fair point. Thank you as usual for your time. That was Dr. Ted Herbosa, special advisor to the IATF, over the phone. Thanks, Doc. Thank you.